All right, so here we have the Mars 5 Ultra. This is a pretty unique printer that's made resin printing much easier now as it introduces some very special features. So right off the bat, we can see the Ultra comes in this darkened kind of look. We have an upper cover that has pretty awesome designs on it. It says 05 here. Elegu Mars and over here in very small letters it says create the future innovation at your fingertips. We've got more wording here the beautiful vertical screen five inches great resolution going to the right side of the printer we have ports and buttons the USB port power switch DC input and the Wi-Fi antenna the little venting on top going to the other side we just have some venting and below that we can see we're sitting on four rubber feet and on the very back it's quite clean we do have the manufacturing label here with some information. The top cover comes off as one piece and it does have a nice groove that it seals onto the base and also on the back of it here we can see that you can connect an external vent like a hose or a pipe to vent out the resin smells. So the 5 Ultra really has some unique things but we'll start here on the top with this latching mechanism. So this is something new here and it's literally like a latch that you open and then your bed just slides out which is awesome and quite easy to use and feels a lot more secure instead of the older ball type of connection. Here everything is kind of more covered up. See our lead screw in the middle and we got one linear rail. We got a pretty beefy C channel for the X axis. Going back to the build plate it's quite unique also. The top here is plasticky so this portion here does not go into the resin as we have these little extensions that go to the plate and this whole system here is somewhat dynamic as it does have springs in it. If I push it, you can probably see it kind of move a little bit. So the idea here is that the bed goes down and the resin never goes above here. We do still have a taper, which is nice. And going down from there, we have the vat, which holds the resin. It's connected with these two bolts that you just unscrew and they do come out completely. And it's a pretty decent size here. We got a pour spout on both ends, which is nice. The max line and a very clear film. And also if we flip around completely, Maybe you guys can tell, but we have little feet as bolts, so you can set it down like this without touching the film. We do have a 9K resolution display. We also have tilt technology, which this whole piece here, you guys can kind of see the crack, actually moves up and down or side to side. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it does move the fat down as it's going through layers. And we'll see that as it's operating. But that's like the main feature that really helps with speed and releasing from the film as the VAD goes down, not just this moving up and down. So yeah, that's pretty unique. Now we do also have this pretty cool little AI camera. And this helps you monitor the print slash it does have smart features. If something goes wrong or is off with the help of AI determined if there's issues. It is mounted here where it looks diagonally straight through the center. And it's a pretty awesome feature as this printer does connect to Wi-Fi so you should be able to control and see everything from your slicer. So we have some different materials here. It looks like metal mixed with plastic but overall the build quality seems quite solid. Going to our screen the software is excellent and we can see here this is where we're going to connect to Wi-Fi and I'm going to go ahead and log in. Click enter. All right so we are connected to Wi-Fi. So it looks like right away it determined that it wants to update to a newer version. So let's go ahead and do that. And now it's updating with the progress bar. So yeah. And another thing I didn't mention yet is the build volume is actually quite reasonable for being a smaller printer. It's actually six inches wide, three inches deep, and six and a half inches tall of print volume, which is quite a decent size. And we can kind of see it here on our build plate, which also, Reminds me to show you guys that the build plate is actually etched. So there's a pattern in it. So it has like a little bit of roughness to it where the print can actually stick. And so here we are finished with the update and it's asking us to reboot the machine manually, which we'll do here by turning it off. Wait a few seconds and then power back on. And it looks like it's finishing up the update. All right, so it's done and actually it's asking us to reboot it again, which is kind of interesting, but now we can confirm there and it looks like we're pretty much good to go. So in the tools, we have a manual move. You guys can see we can move it up and down. We've got LCD exposure, which tests the screen. So if we click here on the grid, we can see there's a grid. So there's lights and there's actually a picture we can see. So everything is functioning correctly. We have tank clean and this is just gonna open up the whole thing completely. And you guys can see just wide open.
We have emergency stop button. We got the self test and resin calibration. So the self test, it kind of does in the beginning. You guys can see all of these things that it checks, including actually, I think it does move the vet here. Yeah, you guys can see it's going down. So it's a pretty unique thing to see for sure. Oh well, yeah, it's actually tilting. I could see that the front went down more than the back. Pretty cool. And yeah, you guys can see it does all of these things here. So, and here we have resin calibration in here. This is a specialized test that you can do to calibrate your printer. As you print out different exposures at the same time and see what's best. Click confirm. Then here you guys can see we have the different choices. So in the settings, you can change your language your app settings, so you can turn the sound on and off, format the files, export error log, restore the factory settings, and temperature units, so you can change this to Fahrenheit if you wanted to, but yeah, we're gonna keep it on Celsius, as that's what we're all used to here. And another thing that's quite important to note is that this printer is completely automatic when it comes to leveling the build plate. So it uses, I guess, the combination of the tilting screen there and this being somewhat flexible to correctly align itself flat. So yeah, that's a really nice feature and takes away another thing that you don't have to worry about with this printer. You just have the vat on, secure it down, pour your resin in, and you're ready to print. As simple as that. And if we plug in the included thumb drive, here on the side, you guys can see it blinks. We go to print, USB, and we can see we have a test print and also some software, slicing software. And it's the famous root that comes with all Elegoo printers.